we can get rid of this image and bring in that other one. Oh, I forgot to move it. Images. And then it's under, where is it? Layout, buttons, images. No. About images. There we go. So just move that over here. Okay. Um, okay. So bring that in. This one, Ben Jones photo as well. And I'll type in some text in here. Actually, I'll, I'll copy and paste it off my website. So I'll just copy this. Oh, I've already got it there. Look at that. So I've got all my information. Paste it in there. Okay. Um, so I'll just hit return. And return. And return. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm going to add my name up here. Say I want to change something, like say I want my name to be bigger. Uh, instead of using a paragraph, I can change this to use a heading. Okay, so it's bigger. Uh, and if I wanted, I could actually uh, change my CSS. So I can make a new rule in my styles.css file and uh, I think you can just type in h1 I think, we'll find out and uh, say I want this to be a, a color like uh, color like that yeah, there we go it's not really a pretty color. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, let's fix that. Um, sample something in Photoshop. Let's make it this color. Yeah. There we go. So. Just grab that code and go back over here to Dreamweaver and where it says H1, just paste in that. There we go. That's a nicer color. Uh, okay, this is where this is where I'm talking about that thing. Like, I want to move this up now. Like, I see the size of this, and there's too much space up here. So I'm going to copy uh, where it says uh, about description. And I'm going to paste in contact description. And I'm going to adjust the padding. So to do that, I'll uh, double click back over here uh, where it says contact description. And where it says padding, um, instead of same for all, I'll do like 15 in for the top, and then I'll move it up. Uh, once I give it the right ID, so contact description. So I moved it up a little bit. Uh, let's reduce it a little more. Let's make it 8. 
Uh, that's a little much. I'm going to make that a little bigger. Uh, 10. That looks good. I like that. All right. So for our email address, what we're going to want to do is uh, go down here to the link. We're going we're gonna to type in mail to uh, colon and then our address. And that'll make it into a link. And when someone clicks on it, it'll open up their Outlook, or you can right-click on it, and it'll automatically show up as like an email. Um, and then uh, for PDF and Doc, uh, I'm just going to link it to mine on here. So I'm just going to copy that link and uh, paste that in here. And do the same for this one. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing for these two. And my blogger. All right. Cool. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Uh, you can you can adjust your link color by just clicking Page Properties, uh, and where it says Links, you can change the color here. Uh, I'm gonna leave them alone. I'm fine with it being that. Yeah, so that's that's about it. Uh, in the next one, we're going to be doing the portfolio. So I'll see you then. So I'll save this, and I'll see you then. Okay. <laughs>